and gentlemen, the Rosewood High Student Committee would like to take a moment to pay tribute to one of their own, Allison De Laurentiis. Speak to her? No. Jason picked up her cell phone, said she was too upset to talk. Just when we're in the spotlight, doing something decent. And he makes the spotlight extra harsh. a note or something? I don't think there's a section for, I'm sorry, you got traumatized cards. Maybe flowers. Can we get out of here? I'm right behind you. I just gotta grab my stuff. I don't, just call up my dad and say thanks, but no thanks. I already said yes. Okay, change your mind. I just don't want to spend a quiet evening with my parents, you, and your date. I'm not bringing anybody. It's still a bad idea. It's a good idea. Matter of fact, it's your good idea. Look, if we're ever gonna figure out what happens next, we need to find a way for your parents to see us together as a couple. Didn't really work last time. We weren't going to get off to a good start over an open grave. But at your parents' house, a nice adult atmosphere, they get used to seeing us across from them at the table. My dad did say you're not my teacher anymore, so it, it wouldn't be a conflict of interest. You wanted a baby step. This could be it. But only if you say so. So, what are you making tomorrow, French toast? Does your mom like French toast? It's a joke, attempted humor. I don't want to be a bad guest. Em, you're not a guest. It's your house now. Relax. This is me relaxed. <laughs> well, then we're going to have to work on that. I'm going to catch up with you inside. Okay. Hey. Hey. What was that? I just got stiffed. Totally pimped that guy's phone and now he won't pay. And what are you gonna do? Well, I can't take him to small claims court. Well, that wouldn't happen if he went legit. Legit is in the eye of the beholder. Is your foster mom still giving you support checks? Yeah, but that's just room and board. We need investment capital. 
Look, Caleb, you know that if you need money... If I do, I will figure it out. You don't have to fight all of my fights. Hey, missed you this morning. I just wanted to remind you that we have people coming over tomorrow night. I don't think I can make it. Well, it's kind of important. I've got stuff. Oh, well, Elliot Parth is coming. You remember him? He's the lacrosse coach at Hollis. I thought this would be a good opportunity for I'm you I'm busy. Guys. Mike. I want you to make yourself unbusy. This is very important. It's the first family party we've had since your mom has been back. And we want you here. Okay. Okay. You don't waste any time. These days, somebody offers me a job, I don't give them a chance to change their minds. Well, I figure I can set up a chair and just fan myself while I watch you work. <laughs> or I can make you a grilled cheese sandwich. Hmm, I like both. <laughs> Toby! Thought you'd start tomorrow. That was just uh, clearing the ground. I was thinking about what you might want to do with the barn. I'm not an architect, but I made some sketches. These are great. Can I keep these? Sure. I'm kind of sweaty. <laughs> yeah, well, I can handle it. Dad? <laughs> How? What? I wanted to surprise you after the meet. Is this mom with you? No, she's still in Texas. I had to be in Delaware for a training seminar, and they canceled all the flights back. Some huge storm down there. So I figured I could either sit in the airport in Bethesda or in the stands in Rosewood. You drove all the way up here? Well, your mom said it was an important meet. She said that you had told her that the scout from Danby College is coming. I did? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. What's his name again, Rabin? <laughs> Dad, I just, I wish I don't. But don't worry, all right? I know you have your whole pre-race routine, so I'm not gonna hold you up. Let's go. But if you hear somebody screaming in the stands like a crazy person, it's me. Go go. I thought I just pulled a muscle. All right, they're caused by stress, hon. All right, and let's face it. You leaving home, your ma moving, well, you've had your fair share. What am I supposed to do now? When can I swim again? That's off the table for the moment. Em Emmy, <sighs> listen to me. Listen to me. If you're stressing about the Danby scholarship, I want you to let it go. Okay? 
They're not going to withdraw the offer because you had a setback. You don't know that. I know that you need to rest. You need to listen to the doctor. I need it to swim. Hey, you will, babe. You will, when you're ready. Listen, do you want me to talk to this scout? You have the number for this rebellion? No, don't call him. I'll do it. God, I don't mind. We get your motto. No, I, I don't want to say anything until I know when I can swim again. Okay? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Aren't ulcers something old people get? Get that look off your face. You're going to freak her out. Her? What about me? I'm having deja vu. I spent a week in this place. And if I see another bowl of green jello, I'm going to puke on your shoes. Oh, God. I'm going to walk behind you. Is that Arya? Caleb. I'll just call him back later. What's going on? Him. You and Caleb? We're fine. There's just stuff going on. Like what? Like an undercover cop in a car following him. Why? I don't want to talk about it. You have to. You're in an elevator. Where else are you going to go? Does he know about the cop? No. I haven't told him. Why not? Because I'm still thinking things through. What is there to think through? If I tell him, he might run, OK? I'm not ready to lose him again. Man, if the cops are really after him, you're going to lose him anyway. Hey, did you just get home? I thought you were going to come by the hotel so we could grab some dinner. I uh, haven't had a chance. Hannah came to the bank to borrow my car. Emily is in the hospital. What? Why? What happened? She collapsed at school. I just got an update. It's an ulcer. She's going to be OK. Her dad's there. Wow. Poor kid. Yeah. Want me to run you down there? Or we could stay in and get some food. Tom, you should go home. I don't want to have another meal like breakfast this morning. This. I don't know what this is. But I probably shouldn't have let you stay last night. It's confusing to Hannah, to you, to me. It's not fair to, to anybody. It's Jason's dark room. Face is this? Oh my God, it's Arya. They're all Arya. Is that why Jason's being so nice to Mike? So he can get close to her? Can we just get out of here? My goosebumps are getting goosebumps. Jason's camera equipment. This isn't for developing photographs. This is surveillance equipment. For his house? For spying on people. What are you saying? You think he was, he's been watching us this whole time? You think he's... He's home! <gasps> Just forget it. <gasps> Changed your mind. Come on, the Katy Perry concert's about to start. I can't watch that. So what? 
You came here because you missed me? Actually, I came by to tell you that I took your advice. And I called my mom. You did? Yeah. And? We had a really good conversation. Well, what'd you talk about? Everything. And nothing. I mean, we didn't really go into the details of why she left me, but she did apologize for taking so long to find me. And then she said that my, that my voice sounds just like my father's. Wow. What else did she say? Well, she really wants to see me. And um, we talked about her coming here. And um, just made more sense for me to go there. Went to California? Yeah. When? Tonight. Tonight? As in now? I know that it seems rushed, but I just... I've waited 12 years for this, and after talking to her... I don't want to wait one more day. No. No, of course, I understand. So... What does this mean for us? We're gonna talk on the phone, and... And I'll be back. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> you say that now, but I've seen pictures of Montecito. Well, I have one very good reason to come back. You. Can I at least drive you to the airport? My mom actually arranged a car for me. <laughs> waiting outside. <laughs> crazy, huh? I think it's great. Actually, the box is in the woodshed. Follow me. You coming? Um, no, no, I'll just wait out here for you. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. What a complete waste of time. Sorry I snapped at you. If you didn't do anything wrong, it's just... Kate and her friends think I'm totally clueless. It's not true. Yes, it is. Every time I looked back at them, I got the stink eye from Itzy. Betsy. Whatever. They both hated me. Hannah, maybe you're just not trying hard enough. What? Mona, how could you say that? I practically killed myself today trying to make those girls like me. Like, why should I even try it all? If it weren't for Is It Hell the Skank, uh, my mom would be with my dad right now instead oh, of right. home alone. So Kate, her mom, and those little bitches can go to hell for all I care. Yeah.
What are you doing here? Your mother let me in. I thought we had an agreement, but you don't seem to care about that anymore. What are you talking about? Ian's dead. Allison's murder has been solved, but you're still digging. Digging like the hungry terrier you always reminded me of. Great. I got it. Now, why don't you I know be... Toby's helping you. I know he was going through my room. You need to stop. What you're doing is dangerous for you and for Toby. Well, you expect me to believe that you care about Toby? I do care about him. Right, well, I know all about that, remember? Well, I guess I've said all I have to say. Thanks for stopping by. Until Garrett, I said hi. What are you doing here? I came to get you. Spencer thought after you left the Spencer. grill. You talked to Spencer? She talked to me, and she admitted that she knew about us. What? She told you about us? Why would she do that? Because your friends think this guy Jason is dangerous, and I do too. They told me about the photos. He had a legitimate explanation for the photos. Look, you don't have to worry. He's not a threat. He is to me. I don't want to lose you. Look, we started out hiding this relationship so we could have one. But if keeping it a secret is destroying it, then I don't want to keep it a secret anymore. So what are you saying? It's time to tell people about us. And I think we should start by telling your parents. You want to start with my parents? Yeah. I'd rather they heard it from us. Please tell me you didn't do this. Tom, go back to the Mother, table. stay out of this. Kate was drinking, too. We didn't have that much to eat. Kate is not drunk, Hannah. Kate is poised and alert and just gave a very touching toast alone. Back off, Tom. I thought we were past all this, but I guess we're not, are we? We would really do something like this just to make sure this wedding didn't happen. You know, I would have waited and hurled on the bride. You can both leave now. I'll say goodbye for you. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Sweetie, it's okay. You'll get over it. Mom, Dad. Look, if we're serious about helping Mike, we need to talk about everything. Aria. Mike hasn't just broken into one house. And I've known about it for a while. I just kept it to myself because I thought it would help him. And it hasn't. And I'm tired of keeping secrets. I was asked to do it once and it almost destroyed us. I don't want to do it anymore. Who are you calling? I'm trying to find a 24-hour cleaners. Oh, honey. I'm trying to find an undertaker. This thing needs to be buried. I, I, I bet you are alone. Tom said you were on your way out. I am. In a big way. Do you feeling better? I brought you some ginger ale. Mm, is that what sobered you up so fast? Excuse me? Hey, what are you doing? You can't do that. Give me that. Those are mine. Oh. May I have my purse back, please? Listen, 
Granny, if I wanted to play airport. You think you're pretty sly, don't you? This one was guzzling water. You had the bar all to yourself. Congratulations, Kate. You settled the score. But you know what? As soon as I get more than shrimp in my stomach, you are going to be in a world of pain. We'll see. She shoved your head underwater and you still dated her? Girl, I came back just in time. Seriously, you did. Um, I have to take this. I'll be right back. Dr. Sullivan? Emily, I'm sorry to be calling this late. Can you get a hold of the other girls and come to my office now? What's going on? I know who A is. She said, meet in her office. So where is she? She's not here. The doctor is out. A. Just remember what I said. Cause it isn't over yet. 